Look at these pictures, what do you see? In this image the plug can be inserted into the socket both ways, but only one way will actually work, so, you need to test both ways to know which one is the right alignment, because there is no way to understand by seeing the socket or the plug, and it could end in an error, or worse an accident. But look in this picture, the socket and the plug is designed in such a way that it can go in only one way. There is no chance to do it wrong or inserting the plug in any other way, so it forces you to do it right the first time and leaves no chance of error. This is the concept of Poka Yokoi. The term Poka Yokoi was coined in Japan during the 1960s by Shigo Shingo, an industrial engineer at Toyota. Toyota is still the most famous multinational business using Poka Yokoi today. Poker yoke is used to prevent and resolve defects during the production process, eliminating the need for quality control after the process. Poker yoke is a frequently used method in lean manufacturing and Six Sigma to ensure as little errors in a production process as possible. A poker is an inadvertent error and yokru is Japanese for preventing. So, poker yoke means mistake proofing or more literally it means avoiding or preventing errors. Poker yoke makes it practically impossible to make mistakes. It forces actions to be carried out correctly, leaving no room for misunderstandings. It's about measures that prevent further errors from being made. Many solutions in poker yoke tend to be simple, cheap, and effective. They can be integrated into the product design or in one of the process steps. The most famous examples are smartphone SIM cards. After all, there's only one way to place the SIM card in the phone. It's impossible to do it wrong. So, Poker Yoke ensures that the right conditions exist before a process step is executed, and thus preventing defects from occurring in the first place. So, why is Poker Yoke important? The value of using Poker Yoke is that they help people and processes work right the first time, which makes mistakes impossible to happen. These techniques can significantly improve quality and reliability of products and processes by eliminating defects. This approach to production fits perfectly the culture of continuous improvement, which is also part of the lean management arsenal. It can also be used to fine-tune improvements and process designs from Six Sigma Define Measure Analyze Improvement Control, or DMAIC, projects. Applying simple poker yoke ideas and methods in product and process design can eliminate both human and mechanical errors. Three types of poker yoke can be identified for quickly and easily delivering solutions for production problems. Number 1. Visual Aids These aids are clear and show the work instructions. These may be pictograms in a user manual or a traffic sign that shows a restriction or a warning. Number 2. Visual Control these refer to directing behavior and warning in case of deviations. One example would be a traffic sign that lights up red when drivers are speeding and green if they stick to the speed limit. Number 3. Fail safes. They force the user to either do or not do something. The plug and socket example we saw earlier in this video is a poker yoke way of this category because it forces you to insert the plug the right way into the socket and leaves no chance of error. Now the question arises. When and how to use it? Poker yoke technique could be used whenever a mistake could occur or something could be done wrong meaning everywhere. It can be successfully applied to any type of process in manufacturing or services industry, preventing all kinds of errors. To prevent processing error, which includes process operation missed or not performed per the standard operating procedure. To prevent setup error which includes using the wrong tooling or setting machine adjustments incorrectly. To prevent missing part, which includes not all parts included in the assembly, welding, or other processes. To prevent improper part or item, which includes wrong part used in the process. To prevent operations error, which includes carrying out an operation incorrectly, having the incorrect version of the specification. To prevent measurement error, which includes errors in machine adjustment, test measurement or dimensions of a part coming in from a supplier. Poker yoke is easy to implement because of its universal and rational nature. You can follow this step-by-step -step process to apply it. Step number 1, identify the operation or process. Step number 2, analyze the five whys and the ways a process can fail. 
Step number 3. Choose the right poker yoke way approach, such as using a shutout type, preventing an error being made, or an attention type, highlighting that an error has been made. Step number 4. Take a comprehensive approach instead of thinking of poker yoke just as limit switches, or automatic shutoff. Step number 5. Determine whether a contact, use of shape, size or other physical attributes for detection, constant number, error triggered if a certain number of actions are not made, or a sequencing method, use of a checklist to ensure completing all process steps, is most appropriate. Step number 6. Test the method and see if it works. Step number 7. Train the operator, review performance and measure success. Poker Yoke technique is one of the most precious gems in the crown of lean management. It is a way of ensuring quality without actually having a quality assurance process, rather preventing defects to appear in the first place. Poker Yoke may be implemented in any industry and have many benefits, most important of which are Helps work right the first time In time makes it impossible for mistakes to occur. It's not costly, 